All right, we're getting some details now on the Shraddha Walker murder case. Now, these are the details coming through as far as the charge sheet that has been filed by the Delhi police is concerned, which is uh, 6,600 pages. Uh, uh, the accused Aftab disposed of the head after three months. The accused threw away Shraddha's phone in Mumbai and the accused used... Uh, a mixer to turn bones into powder. These are the details that have emerged uh, uh, from the charge sheet. Remember, uh, this uh, murder that uh, horrified everyone across the country uh, took place in mid of last year, but was discovered only towards the end of last year, after which uh, uh, there were, in fact, uh, also the allegations by the police that uh, the accused in this case, Aftab Punawala, was trying to mislead the police by giving them uh, different details uh, uh, which did not match. And the police were looking at uh, uh, the various parts of the chopped up body of Shraddha Walkar, uh, which they would have uh, in fact used as evidence. Uh, let me go across to Vedant for more details on this. Vedant, uh, what is uh, one of the critical points emerging from uh, this charge sheet of the police, uh, which can help uh, nail the accused in this case? Because uh, that this is all based on circumstantial evidence and forensic evidence, isn't it? has taken cognizance of this over 6,000 page charge sheet that has been filed in the Shraddha Valkar case. Uh, now, a couple of important things coming out of uh, this particular uh, charge sheet. The most important thing is that uh, you know, the charge sheet clearly states that Aftab disposed of a head after three months. So that is something that is uh, important because uh, I remember uh, the Delhi police had initially also said that uh, you know, it was after almost six months that this case had come to light, only after a missing complaint was actually lodged. Uh, so it's significant that the charge sheet, uh, in a sense, uh, validates the point that uh, Aftab disposed of uh, Shraddha's head after three months, and that is why you know, her, her severed head uh, was not uh, recovered uh, also. Uh, the other important thing is that, remember, uh, when this case had come to light, crucial evidence like Shraddha's phone, uh, Shraddha's clothes, all of those uh, were missing. Uh, so it was uh, in the charge sheet, it, it states clearly that uh, Aftab uh, threw away Shraddha's phone in Mumbai. And remember here in Delhi, uh, the Delhi police, uh, you know, searched various locations, uh, you know, Aftab's uh, residence, Aftab's workplace, and Shraddha's phone was not found. And Shraddha's phone was crucial evidence because remember, uh, all the chats that had come out with uh, you know, with Shraddha's friends, etc. All those were just coming out of a friend's uh, statements to the police. Uh, so, the, uh, you know, the charge sheet, in a sense, also gives us um, a view into where the crucial evidence uh, was actually. And the other important thing is that uh, the other important thing that is coming out of the charge sheet is that uh, you know the bones uh, you were turned into powder by Aftab. So I remember initially all those reports uh, were coming out wherein, uh, uh, you know, it was said that Aftab, uh, uh, you know, used a polythene bag to dispose of all the bones and severed pieces of her body. Uh, but now in the charge sheet, it's a big revelation that, uh, you know, the, the bones were turned into powder by Aftab. So these are certain shocking details that are coming out of the charge sheet. Remember, it's an over 6,000 page uh, a charge sheet that the, 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 the Delhi court has now taken cognizance of. Uh, so it's expected uh, that uh, the court will, uh, you know, pronounce uh, the order in a, in a few days from now. Remember, after the custody uh, was extended till today, because today uh, is when the uh, Delhi court was to take cognizance of the charge sheet, Maha. Hmm. Vedanta, what is the police saying? How confident are they that uh, uh, the evidence that they have now amassed in this case will be enough uh, to nail the accused in this uh, matter? Uh, right, Mahas, remember, the the charge sheet has been filed after examining a lot of statements by many witnesses. Uh, in fact, there are over 150 witnesses that have from over 150 witnesses that have been, uh, you know, recorded in the charge sheet as well. Uh, the most important thing as far as this case is concerned was that whether the Delhi police will be able to have any evidence, forensic evidence or any evidence that is beyond circumstantial evidence to prove that Aftab indeed uh, chopped Shraddha's body to 35 pieces and that, you know, Aftab indeed was uh, uh, Shraddha Walker's uh, murderer. So uh, given that, you know, this charge sheet has been filed and the details that we've been able to access, it seems like this, uh, uh, you know, uh, this particular case as presented by the Delhi police will stand the, uh, you know, test of law. And that is something that the Delhi police uh, have also said, that this charge sheet is strong enough uh, to make for a watertight case and a case that could stand uh, the test of law.
All right, Vedant Amey, thanks for joining us with all those details.